welcome students. I see we've uh, got about 16 people in the audience right now. We're going to let people kind of filter in for a little bit and then we'll get started. We're really excited to have you all here. We've got about 13 employers who are actively hiring, um, who are looking forward to meeting you and, uh, and connecting with you and telling you about what they have to offer. Um, so again, we're just going to give it a couple minutes and let some more students filter in. Uh, I see we're already at 19, so I'm going to just let people enter and then uh, we'll get started in a little bit. Thank you all for your patience. Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, we've got about 20 students here joining us, which is great. And we have uh, 13 employers here. Um, so students, you've entered uh, our webinar, which means that you don't actually have the ability to um, display any video um, or use your audio. Instead, we'll be communicating via the Q&A box and the chat box at the bottom of your screen. So please feel free to use those. Um, if you have a question as employers are presenting, go ahead and pop that in the Q&A box and we'll make sure that the employers have an opportunity to address your question. Um, if you see somebody else has already asked a question that you want answered, you can also upvote that, that uh, question and that'll bring it to the employer's attention uh, even sooner. Uh, if you have some other issue, uh, maybe a technical issue, or you just have a general question, we have the chat box available, um, so you can uh, use that, and uh, we have a CCSF staff member monitoring that. Um, I think with those kind of ground rules, um, we'll, we'll get started here. Uh, my name is Zachary Lamb. I'm the Assistant Director for the Strong Workforce Program here at City College of San Francisco. And I wanna just thank everybody, employers, students, CCSF staff who are trying this uh, experiment with us. Uh, we're gonna do our best here and hope for no technical issues. Um, I wanna ask if uh, Dean John Halpin is on, if he wants to uh, welcome everybody to this event. Yes, thanks, thanks, Zach. Good morning. My name is John Halpin and I'm the Dean of Workforce Development at City College of San Francisco. And I wanna welcome you to our first ever virtual career fair. Um, and now I wish, I wish we were having this event under better circumstances. And I hope that everyone is staying healthy and safe during this challenging time. I wanna thank all of the employers who are participating with us today. We really appreciate you providing access to employment opportunities for our students in particular during this time. We know that not every company is in a position to hire right now and future hiring remains uncertain, uh, but we hope that the connections that we make today lead to some lasting opportunities for our students in the future. Uh, I wanna take a moment to speak directly to the students who are participating on the career fair this morning. I know that this is a, a difficult, unprecedented time to be going to school during a global pandemic with this shelter in place order that is ongoing. 
Uh, I know over the last month you've had to make the transition from classroom to distance learning and I know it's it's not always easy for me to be working remotely and so I imagine it's not always easy for you to be taking classes and studying remotely so I just want to encourage you to keep going with your studies during the final few weeks of the school year uh, we're here for you and we're rooting for you to achieve your education goals my office the office of workforce development houses our career services work experience and apprenticeship programs and we're continuing to provide services to students and employers remotely. So this virtual career fair is one of the many online events that we are hosting. We will also have some online job search workshops. Many of these events are being recorded and will be posted on our YouTube channel. Our team of employment specialists are providing one-on-one -on -one meetings and services to students via email and Zoom. And the Career, can, can, the career Center is also providing virtual services. The best place to find all of these resources is on the website at www.ccsf.edu forward slash career services. That page has links to all of our online event schedule and our contact information for the team. You can also access there our College Central site, which is our online job search platform. Employers can register for a free account and post your jobs at our school. And students, you could complete your registration, create a profile, and search through all of the job listings that are available on that site. Uh, before I go, I just want to thank the members of my team who worked out all of the logistics to make this event possible. They put this event together very quickly, all working from their homes. Uh, they really continue to impress and inspire me. So thank you to Zach Lamb, Bianca Nunez, Janelle Haddon, Melissa McPeters, Margarita Ward, Jonathan Berg, Steve Nelson, John Slang Sang. Once again, I want to thank you all for attending and hope that we will see you all in person in hopefully the not too distant future. So thanks. I will uh, turn it back to Zach. Thank you, John. Uh, Margarita, will you take us to the next slide? So this is our agenda for the day. Um, we're going to have some brief introductions from some of the CCSF staff. We have uh, a lot of uh, services that are continuing to um, uh, go out just over Zoom and other online formats that we want students to be aware of. Um, so we'll do that with some quick introductions uh, and then we'll just move right into the employer. So you can see a rough outline of uh, when each employer will be, uh, will be presenting to you all. Um, we've asked them to take five minutes each to just go over uh, what their company does, what kind of roles they're looking for, um, anything that they may want to mention about compensation or hours or other relevant details. Um, and then we've also set aside about two minutes for Q&A. So again, for those of you who are uh, just joining us, um, there is a little Q&A button at the bottom. Um, and that's what you'll use to ask any questions that you have of employers. Um, and then there's also a chat box um, if, you, uh, if you want to send any messages to us uh, about miscellaneous items. Um, so with that, I'm going to turn it over to the employment specialists and career counselors to introduce themselves um, and let you all know about some of the events and workshops that we have coming up. Uh, next slide, Margarita. Hi, I'm Melissa McPeters. Um, I support the uh, tra transportation students and students in the building and construction trades. And this is my list of upcoming events and welcome. I don't think uh, Aria was able to join us, um, but Aria handles um, media uh, uh, arts and entertainment. So he is the employment specialist if that is your uh, major or area of interest. So please feel free to reach out to him. Um, he does have also a few events coming up. Um, so there's his contact info if, um, if you're interested in a career in arts, media, or entertainment. Next. 
Hi everyone, my name is Bianca Nunez. Um, I'm an employment specialist on this team and I support education, public and social services. So for those of you that are taking courses in health education, child development, social justice, um, administration of justice and fire science, any of those areas, please reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one support. Um, I'm trying to do a lot more one-on-one -on -one at this time to see what specific students need but also speaking with employers to see if we can put together an event particular to this sector. So please reach out to me if you need help with anything. Um, if you want to call, you can leave a voicemail at 239-3922 and um, I'll, I'll call you back from my cell phone. So please reach out and thank you for joining us. So I don't believe Steve was able to join us either, but Steve is the employment and training specialist for uh, computer networking and information uh, tech and also uh, computer science. So if your interest is in the technology sector, then Steven is your guy. He comes from the industry and has a lot of great uh, experience and contacts there. Um, and he also has a lot of great events coming up. So please, if you're interested in exploring a career in technology, uh, reach out to Steve and help, let him help you kind of get ready for that. Hi, everybody. My name is Jonathan Berg. Uh, like many others here, I'm an employment and training specialist. I work with the kind of general business sector. So anybody that's studying or majoring in business, in uh, accounting, in finance, in marketing, entrepreneurship, paralegal services, or real estate, I am attached to you and available to you. Uh, as you can see here, I am doing a lot of online workshops. Um, as for most of us, the workshops, uh, if if your schedule doesn't align with your sector specialist, I think the workshops are pretty adaptable for whoever. So even if you're not in the um, studying business, feel free to sign up for my workshops. As you can see, my one on one services are more uh, specifically for people that are studying in alignment with those uh, with those areas. And you can sign up for any of my services on my website. So whether it's one-on-one -on -one or registering for events, they're all on my website. If you're not as technology, um, if you're more technology averse and would just like to reach out to me, please call me or email me, whatever your needs are. If I am your guy, I would love to help you out. So uh, thanks everyone for being here, people working on the event and attendees and excited to get people to work and skilled up and jobs. Hi everyone, my name is John. I'm with the Career Development Center at, C at CCSF. And we provide career counseling services for those who don't know what career they wanna do or what major to choose. So if that's you, you can reach out to us uh, by either asking your questions at, uh, CCS, at uh, sorry, career center at ccsf.edu or you can actually request an appointment and we can do it by phone or through Zoom. We also provide general job uh, search assistance as well, and I'm one of four career counselors at the center. Great, thank you everybody. Uh, so we are gonna move into our employer presentations. Uh, today we have 13 employers that are actively hiring. Um, so I'm excited to see so many students here to kind of uh, explore those opportunities. Uh, again, we've given employers five minutes to present and then two minutes for Q&A. If you have a question for those employers, you can find the Q&A button on the bottom of your Zoom box uh, and pop your questions into, that, um, into the Q&A. If you see somebody else's question there that you want answered, no need to uh, ask it again. You can just upvote that question and then um, employers will kind of prioritize their response to that. Um, uh, I want to let you all know that this is being recorded and that all the information, all the slides and the employer contact info will be shared out after the event. So if you can't stay the whole time and you're worried about missing one of the later ones or um, you have uh, friends who you know, weren't able to attend, classmates who had class at this time, um, don't worry, we will be sending this information out so that it can get shared uh, more widely. Uh, and so with that, I want to start us off with uh, Alto. Um, Lauren, do you want to present? Sure. Um, thanks for organizing this event and hosting me. My name is Lauren. I'm a senior technical recruiter at Alto Pharmacy. Alto is a pharmacy that finds patients the best possible price, 
provides an exceptional customer service experience in resolving concerns between patients, doctors, and insurance companies, um, and offers free same-day delivery of your medications. Um, we drive all of that, everything that happens from the moment a doctor writes a prescription to the moment a patient is actually holding that medication in their hands um, with our homegrown technology. Um, so yeah, that's Alto in a nutshell. Um, we're looking for full-time software engineers. We um, are proactively hiring early career engineers, so new grads. We also have an internship program, although this summer's class is already filled, but um, that will be an ongoing annual class. Um, so we have about five to 10 early career openings for the rest of the year in the engineering team. Um, minimum qualifications for that are a CS degree, at least one engineering internship um, while you've been in school, and then just a general interest in learning and being mentored. Um, should I talk about pay and benefits already? Sure, yeah. Okay, so starting salary for um, an entry level software engineering position at Alto starts at 100,000 for base. And then um, we also include equity for, um, for every employee. We also offer comprehensive benefits, including health, dental, vision, paid time off, including sick time, um, time to care for sick family members, which I know is important under current circumstances. Um, and we have a 401k, so among other perks as well. Um, you can apply through our careers page or connect with me on LinkedIn. Again, my name's Lauren Benet, so find me there and shoot me a message. Um, and our interview process overall takes two to three weeks. Um, we can be pretty flexible with timeline, which is usually driven by academic calendars and any visa processing needs more than anything. Um, we do onboard new hires every two weeks. We've been doing that remotely under the current circumstances. I think I covered everything that I was supposed to. Yeah, that's great. Uh, so I want to see if there are any, um, any questions for Lauren or for Alto Pharmacy. Looks like there was one in the chat um, about tech stack. So we use React on the front end and Ruby on Rails on the back end. Great, any other questions from students? Okay, great. Yes, somebody wanted to know what computer language you use. Yeah, our tech stack on the front end is React, which is JavaScript, um, and then we use Ruby on Rails on the back end. Great. The next and question is if you sponsor international visas. We do work with uh, various types of visas. Um, there are you know, certain visas that have different requirements, so I would need to know specifically what the visa needs are. Um, but yeah, we, we have an immigration lawyer we work closely with to address any of those questions or concerns. Great, thank you. Uh, now let's turn to Avalon Bay and Carla. Sorry about that. I apologize. I'm having some issues with my um, my camera on my my laptop. So I apologize. I can't have my profile picture up there. Um, but thank you for having me. And again, thank you for hosting this. Um, over at Avalon Bay, we are in multifamily and real estate development, and so um, our our focus is to, uh, you know, obviously manage and um, upkeep our property and our assets all throughout Northern California. Uh, Avalon Bay is nationwide, and so we're fortunate that we have assets and um, assets and offices all throughout. Um, all throughout the country. Um, we extend all the way as far as the East Coast um, and then all the way down to SoCal and Pacific Northwest. Um, right now we have um, a lot of great openings more on the um, front line and entry level of our communities which are those folks that are leasing our communities and apartments 
through these times, uh, as well as our maintenance team who is working really hard on ensuring that uh, work orders are still getting completed in, in people's homes, as well as upkeeping of the community. Uh, we also do have, and we're fortunate enough to have our uh, development team and construction team also managed in-house. And so we, uh, we have had some internship opportunities on the construction business development side, as well as our um, redevelopment team. And our focus is just to continue to build on our, our current assets and also re redevelop or upgrade our current assets that we have throughout the Bay Area. Um, pay range will kind of, pay scale will range depending on the skills and obviously uh, the position that uh, candidate is applying for. And that's something I can kind of talk offline with, with the candidate if we do move, move them forward. But we do also qualify them for, um, and they're eligible for our benefits as well as our housing discounts that we offer to all of our associates. Um, any questions? I'm not sure if anyone's very, if, I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with property management. Um, and if, if not, and this is the first time you're, you're hearing, you know, this industry, I'm happy to answer any questions that you have um, offline or, or, or during this call. Oh, Melissa, I think you've got, Thank you're you. muted. Okay, so send me a message. So we have two questions. Um, one question from Terry is what positions are available? Yep, so right now we're heavily focused on um, filling our maintenance positions. Um, we've got a few folks that went on leave of absence and so we wanna kind of bring in some uh, potential temp associates to kind of help cover for that and a lot of that is going to have a lot of that is going to focus on candidates with some technical skills uh, uh you know working in units troubleshooting appliance repairs um painting units um very entry level um we we do have um our construction intern program that's also open and that we're working to fill and so those are kind of our two two main open positions right now that we're, we're focusing on filling. Great, and then another question from Alicia, uh, are mm -hmm. the internships paid? Yes, they are paid. Okay, great. Uh, are there any other questions from students? Uh, I see one from uh, Mary maybe. Um, is the concierge position posted currently on your website still available? Uh, yes, Mary, is, this is the one in San Francisco, I'm assuming, right? Uh, yes, it is. So if you want to um, shoot me a message or private message me on our chat here with your email address, I'm happy to sync up with you and schedule some time to connect. Perfect. Thank you. Great. Any other questions for Carla for Avalon Bay? Looks good. Okay. Oh, wait, I see one up. Oh, just a thank you from Mary. Okay, great. Okay, so with that, if there are no other questions for Carla, then I'm gonna go ahead and move us on to our next employer. So do we have, uh, do we have Catherine or Cho from Compassionate Home Care on the line? I'm not sure if they were able to join us. Okay, I'm not seeing them. So uh, we'll, uh, you know, maybe we can come back to them if they're able to log on later. But for now, we'll move on to Covenant Aviation Security. Uh, do we have Sandra on the line? Okay, uh, Sandra, I guess is not here. So let's move to the next one. Okay, uh, Rhonda from CVS Health, do you want to go ahead and present? Yes, hi everyone and welcome to CVS. Um, I'll begin a little bit about telling you about CVS and then into the positions that we have available. 
Um, so a million times a day, close to home here in San Francisco and also across the country, CVS is really helping people on their path to better health. So especially now as we're sheltered in place, CVS is here to help people within our communities stay healthy and safe. So our customers and our patients at CVS are so happy, especially now, um, because we're able to help them with their daily needs of food, personal care, and prescription medications. Um, we're an essential business that continues to serve our customers during this time of shelter in place. Um, it's so easy just to pop into a CVS for some milk or eggs or baking supplies, drinks, snacks, and of course, don't forget your toilet paper. Um, so CVS is really convenient and we're almost in everybody's neighborhood. So our pharmacists and our pharmacy technicians are working really hard every day, helping our patients with their prescription needs, answering their questions about COVID-19 and other healthcare needs and of course making recommendations on over-the-counter medications. Our pharmacy staffs um, really has stepped up as vital healthcare uh, providers uh, during this time, as many of our patients do come and see us rather than going to their primary care physician. Um, our pharmacists and our pharmacy technicians are really um, are enjoying their jobs as they're able to help uh, their community and help our patients out there right now. Um, so retail pharmacy itself is really one of the most important um, frontline healthcare providers. It always has been within our communities. And many of our patients do really come and see us uh, for many of their needs instead of going into the emergency rooms. So here at CVS, um, throughout the Bay Area, in San Francisco and throughout the Bay Area, we are offering lots of different types of job um, opportunities, both full-time and um, part-time. And our work schedules are very flexible. So if you are still um, going to school or taking some classes, uh, we do have a lot of um, employees who are doing that. So we offer lots of flexible schedules and part-time employment. Or if you're done with school and you're graduating, we have some great uh, career opportunities and full-time employments um, with flexible schedules that can fit into your life and give you that work-life balance that you're looking for. So at CBS, we do offer um, employment for various different uh, majors. If you're a business major, finance major, marketing, or even HR and people management, uh, we have a career path uh, for you here at CBS. Um, with our front of store retail business, there's lots of opportunities for employment if you're looking for retail operations. Um, looking to learn about profit and loss and uh, running a business, people management, HR, people management and development and training of talent, uh, sales, inventory, customer service, we've got it all. So it's a great opportunity for you as a student um, to learn all these uh, great skills. And also if you're a graduate, uh, to come join us and really have a great career in management with CBS. Um, on the other side, if you're a healthcare, um, is your uh, field of study of your healthcare uh, student, like nursing or medical assistance, you too can gain a lot of experience by working at CBS within our pharmacies. Um, you can learn about all the different types of medications, both over the counter and by prescription. Uh, learn how the healthcare system works and all the medical buildings and third party payers, all the different types of insurance plans that are out there from Medicare, Medicaid, and private insurances. And of course, uh, we are always uh, looking for great pharmacy technicians too. So, as a pharmacy technician student, um, we do hire um, students who are still going through the program right now. Um, you can start as a pharmacy uh, clerk and start learning the basic operations of a pharmacy. And of course, upon graduation, we've got great career opportunities for um, pharmacy technicians. Uh, we have lots of advancements for pharmacy technicians um, in various management roles. 
And with that, you would take on more responsibilities overseeing pharmaceutical inventory controls or supervising other pharmacy technicians and or leading the entire pharmacy team as a pharmacy technician. Um, so lots of great opportunities, uh, both in you know, retail um, store operations um, to pharmacy operations. Um, so we've got it all here at uh, CVS. Some great benefits um, come with uh, both full-time and part-time employment. Um, our, we have a really good comprehensive medical, dental, vision, um, time off um, and all that for our full-time employees that start at 30 hours on average per week. Um, and of course, for part-time employees, we still have some really good benefits as well. Um, employee discounts and things. Um, and also, if you want to continue your education too, we have a really good educational support um, program um, that helps um, our employees fund um, their uh, classes um, and or if you're pursuing a further degree for you to go uh, continue with your schooling too. So um, lots of opportunities here within the city of San Francisco. Um, but also throughout the Bay Area. We've got stores everywhere, as you probably all know. Um, and if you flip down my the next couple slides, I don't know if you guys have the other slides here that you can show. Um, actually, uh, you can take a look at all the different positions from uh, retail store associates to shift supervisor, which is more of a management type of position, to pharmacy technician. And then on the next slide, um, if you flip through, you can see operational uh, management positions and operations supervisors often up to um, store managers. So there's a whole progression of uh, management positions that are available that you can advance in. And, um, and on my last slide here, um, I'm just kind of listed all the different counties within the Bay Area uh, where we are looking for talent. Um, so we are you know, we've got openings for entry level um, while you're still in school or if you just graduated from your program, um, send your email and resumes or um, inquiries to me. I've got my um, email address listed here at rhonda.lo at cvshealth.com. So I hope to uh, hear from all of you guys. And uh, I think we got some questions on the Q&A board here. We do have one. Robert wants to know if you're looking for any community healthcare workers. Um, healthcare workers, as far as uh, within our stores, yes. Um, so lots, all of these positions are within our stores here uh, locally. And Terry wants to know if there's any office positions that are not retail. Um, most of our associates do start off in our retail setting. However, we do have our regional office here which is uh, in Dublin. So within our regional offices, we do have some office positions available. Do we have any other questions? It looks like we're done with questions. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you, Rhonda and CVS. Uh, let's move to the next employer. Uh, Marguerite, next slide. Uh, so do we have our representative from FedEx here? Okay, I guess not. Uh, we'll see if they show up and we can go back to them if we need to. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the next group. Uh, Graystar, is Thomas here? Okay, Thomas is not here. Let's move to our next group. Homebridge, Charles. Oh. Hello, everybody. My name is Charles Payne. I'm the outreach coordinator for Homebridge. We are a nonprofit caregiving organization based out of San Francisco. We have been around since 1985. It started as a small group of concerned citizens um, wanted to address the care uh, being provided to the senior citizens, the elderly disabled population in San Francisco. Blossomed over the years recently, um, we work with the elderly 
in disabled population to assist them with their day-to-day -day by providing in-home care providers to maintain independent living. Position starts at 1850. We provide full medical, dental, and vision working full-time. We also have part-time available as well as casual employment, which is a commitment of up to 18 hours to work around like a college schedule. Um, you're not in class right now, but there are Zoom classes still, but there is casual employment working around a schedule. All the positions are in the city and county of San Francisco. There is a two weeks full-time paid training that is associated with the position. We have it socially distanced, socially distanced set up. So that way there's only four people in the class, one person per table, um, not including the teacher. That helps us with keeping that distance and um, going through the changes that we're recently going through. Um, for the most part, that is it. Um, we Six months of experience is preferred, but we do understand a lot of people tend to work with family members and friends without going through the proper channels to get um, funded or to get paid for that position. So we do count that as experience, even if it wasn't something directly paid. Um, are there any questions? This is a good chance for questions. We're ready for you, students. But it would be care of someone who's elderly or disabled. And that is it. I have a, oh, Robert has a question for you, Charles. He wants to know if you're looking for community health care workers. Um, community health care workers, not at the moment. But, you know, uh, there are always openings from time to time. We do have a program in place called STEPS. So you will start off as an HCP1 making 1850. Um, after four months of reliable work, your care supervisor will recommend you for additional training. That training would be how to deal with the client who doesn't want care for that day, Alzheimer's, hoarding. And it's something to help you out with your day to day, but it would increase your pay by 50 cents. And then after another four months, you'll be eligible for that move. Thank you. Um, Julian wants to know what now the typical HCP hours two, are. Then on call, to HCP3 on call. Okay, the hours run from eight to five, nine to six. You're able to pick the days that you would like to work. When working full time, keep in mind that it does require either a Saturday or a Sunday. Other than that, um, the part-time is four-hour shifts that you can combine to a full day if you want to choose to work a full day for whatever reason. Thank you. And Erica wants to know, how are you helping your clients during this time in terms of close, physical closeness? Um, I don't understand the question. Can you rephrase it? I think Erica is trying to ask how, um, how what the safety measures that um, Homebridge is taking to work with clients in terms of um, physical proximity. So we are providing all of our um, current home care providers and new providers with additional PPE equipment um, to help them face masks, uh, forgive me, face masks, gloves, to um, help them out in the field. Um, looking to work in Marin. All of the positions are in the city and county of San Francisco if you're willing to travel. They're all accessible via public transportation, either BART or Muni. We do provide the cost of the Muni Fast Pass when working. Um, that way, you don't have to worry about driving. We do understand it can be tough looking for parking and time can be hindered with the client. So we do cover the cost of the Muni Fast Pass. We are re-entry friendly as long as it's not a tier one felony, which is defrauding in federal state government, child abuse or elderly abuse. It would come down to a conversation with our HR and it's a case by case uh, basis. There is a two-step TV process associated with this. We do cover the cost of that as well. And that is all. Um, Julian has another question for you, Charles. What is the training process like and the hours for the training and the location? So again, the training is socially distance friendly, um, given the fact you will have your own table to you know, go through the training on. And it's a two weeks full-time paid training um, running from nine to four at our office, which is located at 1035 Market Street. We're within walking distance from the Civic Center Bar Station. It's a straight shot, um, no more than three minute walk.
and I don't see any more questions. Great. All right, thank well, you. thank you, Charles. So our next employer is Motivate. Um, I want to ask if, any, if a representative is here, but I don't see them. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. All right, Reyes, go ahead. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, okay awesome. Um, so you, I'm actually gonna do one of two companies under the Reyes Holdings family. Uh, we have five different enterprises. So I'll be speaking about the Reyes Coca-Cola bottling uh, company. If you can go to the next slide. So we are a, are a bottler and distributor in most of California and Nevada. We operate 32 facilities, including three bottling facilities. So that means we're bottling the product and distributing out to all of California and Nevada. Our Northern California bottling facility is located in San Leandro. So that actually covers all of Northern California uh, bottling products such as Dasani water, such as um, obviously soda products, but that also includes our monster and body armor products as well. We uh, joined the Reyes family in 2017 when we were acquired by them, and we are the top 10 largest privately held company in the U.S. So the next slide, I'll talk about our current location here in the Bay Area. There is not a actual location in San Francisco, but we do distribute to all of the Bay Area. So some of the routes might be in San, Fr San Francisco or nearby. Um, and then there's obviously a lot of opportunity for growth within the company uh, in the Reyes Coca-Cola family, as well as our other Reyes uh, divisions. And then you can go to the next slide. We have a, a little bit of everything for everybody. Um, our top uh, positions, which we call high volume, are our class A delivery drivers. You do have to have one year of, of driving experience. Our merchandisers are those people that are uh, stocking our shelves. We, they're our heart right now in all of our stores, making sure the product's on there, uh, nothing's expired on the floor. For that position, you do have to have a valid driver's license and a and reliable transportation because you are driving from store to store. And then our other position, obviously, I spoke about the production facility. These are our bottlers. These are the people that are uh, making sure the product is getting full and out to our distributors right away. And then lastly, um, our warehouse is going, are the people doing forklifts and um, making sure it gets to the right distributing center as well as to the right stores. Each position, the pay varies. I would say all of these positions here are all going to be 95% union positions. So again, those pay and hours vary, but they're all gonna be full-time. If you're looking for something more um, in the sales realm or administrative, we do offer those positions as well, but just each location. Um, it, it just varies on those. And then you can go to the next slide. I don't know if we have time to show the video. Um, you can certainly play it, but um, we have actually day in the life videos of all of our positions that I mentioned. If you actually go to the YouTube, if you go to YouTube, you can type in day in the life of class A driver at rccb.com and I'll show you exactly what uh, the position entails, the kind of environment, as well as um, really the physical elements of the job if you're not sure. There's one more slide. Um, so all of our um, applications right now, we're encouraging everybody to join our talent community so you can get the uh, leads on when positions open up as well as um, kind of seeing what jobs are available currently. 
And then if you don't see something that you're looking for, I handle all of Northern California, but if for some reason you're interested in Southern California or um, Las Vegas, please reach out to me directly and I can put you in contact with that person as well. That's it. Any questions? No questions from students this is a great opportunity to, to uh, connect with an employer directly. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so uh, I know I saw in the chat that there were some people who were interested in hearing from Motivate. Um, and so we are looking to, to get them here and uh, we'll be slotting them in uh, when we can if, if we are able to get them here. Um, in the meantime, uh, if there aren't any more questions for Reyes Coca-Cola, then let's move on to the next Reyes, uh, Reyes Fleet Management. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Therese, so I do work with Denise. She mostly works um, on the positions for Reyes Coca-Cola bottling. Um, we're part of one big holding company, so one of our business units would be the Reyes Fleet Management. As you can see here in the slide, there's multiple business units across Reyes. Um, with Reyes Fleet Management, we do support all of them. So um, a fleet shop could be established in a Reyes Coca-Cola bottling facility, could be established in a Great Lakes Coca-Cola bottling facility here in the East Coast. Um, also in a Martin Brower facility, basically a distributor for uh, most of the McDonald's throughout the country and also globally as well. Um, and also for Reyes Beer Division. So we do distribute major beer brands, including Miller Lite, Coors, Corona, you know, Samuel Adams, even Heineken as well. Um, basically, Reyes Fleet Management, we work on the back end, so we do support um, and do all of the maintenance for trucks. Heavy-duty equipment, such as our pallet jacks, our forklifts, our high lifts that are being used in the distribution center. Next slide, please. So here's a brief description of Reyes Fleet Management. Basically, we rank uh, as top five managed transportation assets in the country and also the sixth largest fleet management in the United States. Um, like what I mentioned um, in the previous slide, we actually do support all of the business units across Reyes. Um, we ensure you know, um, that our trucks are in DOT compliance and in standards. Um, also big and huge, um, huge um, priority on safety and just ensuring that all of the trucks are ready um, the next day to go out and fix all of the repairs. And some of our locations also do some overhauls on our trucks and vehicles as well. Next slide, please. So here are some of our locations. Um, I did put in locations specifically just for our West um, region, specifically in the Bay Area. Um, we have one in San Jose, Union City, Venetia, California, San Leandro, which is the Coca-Cola bottling facility that Denise works at, Salinas as well. And then we are opening up a brand new shop and then uh, recently acquired business um, in South San Francisco. So that is actually up and coming and it was moved actually three months from now. Um, hopefully if everything goes well, that we are able to go ahead and open up the shop, but that is currently in the works and we're currently hiring for that location. Next slide, please. So the positions that we do offer with Arrayas Fleet Management, mainly we do recruit for diesel technicians. Um, we do have three types of technicians that are currently on the shop. We have technician A, mainly someone who works on our major repairs, overhauls. Um, they need to have a minimum year of experience working with diagnostic and at least four years related experience with mechanical repairs, um, most specifically with heavy duty and also medium duty equipment. We also have our B technicians, mainly these are our entry level technicians. Um, we also hired someone who had a year of automotive experience in this role. Um, also has um, at least two years experience um, in mechanical repairs, diagnostics. And then this technician mainly focuses on our preventative maintenance. And in terms of like growth within the company, they do evolve into a technician A position. They do have at least 40 hours per month um, that they get trained alongside a technician A. So they get to learn more aspects of being a technician A um, within our company. 
And then lastly, we have our diesel technician trainee, um, basically someone who is currently attending school. Um, whether it be an automotive um, or diesel technology, um, we do bring them on as a trainee within our business. Um, and then we do teach them all aspects of diesel technology. So we do have a training program in place, and that's something that I could share, you know, moving forward, um, or even, you know, with Melissa, I could also share that with you if you have further questions on that. Um, it's very extensive, so I'm not going to spend most of my time talking about it. Um, but what you really do need in that role as a trainee would be an acceptable motor, motor vehicle record, um, which is in compliance with the Department of Transportation um, regulations. Um, with with this, we are actually do um, do hire um, for a South San Francisco shop that is currently opening right now um, from diesel A, Bs, and trainees. In terms of our head counts right now, we're looking for two technician A's, two technician Bs, and for trainees, we're still determining that, but we're open to you know talk to a couple people. Um, just because, you know, with trainees, we really, um, depending on how many, you know, technician A's we are able to bring on, um, we want to ensure that those are strong technicians and also that we do have strong managers being placed in that location to be able to go ahead and train those trainees within that, within that role. All of our positions are actually full time. Um, the pay would vary per position and also location. Um, I see that there's already a question over in the question and answer. For the office position in South San Francisco location, I currently do not recruit for those positions. However, um, I could go ahead and obtain your information and you could go ahead and send us your resume. Um, we work closely together, like Denise has a counterpart over in the Reyes Beer um, division that I could go ahead and send your resume at. Um, we also have same positions, uh, whether it be admin positions, whether it be merchandiser positions, um, driving position and also um, even the mechanic position. So we all work closely together um, and we do build pipelines of candidates um, within those roles. Next okay, slide, um, please. Oh, by yes, the way, John, oh wait, only two questions, part of Oh, go ahead. Uh, so um, this is, um, I, I know we might not have the time to go ahead and place this play this video as well. And I know Denise had this slide as well in her presentation, um, but I could definitely send this over to Melissa to share with you. This is a brand new day in the life of a fleet diesel technician with RFM that was rolled out last month for, um, for our website. So um, it shows you the layout of our shops. Um, all of our technicians ranges from A, B, and our, even our trainees are actually on that video. Um, and they really do talk about, you know, the daily life um, of, of why they really like working with Reyes Fleet Management. So I could go ahead and send the link over after this, um, after this job fair. Um, definitely a good, you know, video to, um, to look at. And next slide, please. So this is um, just a couple of things on how you're, you can go ahead and apply to any of our position. As Denise mentioned, you could go ahead and sign up to our talent community. Um, you, could, um, you could stay updated to any of our positions that are open and those jobs are categorized as well based on your interest. Secondly, you could browse through our open jobs through jobs at raisefleet.com. Um, third, we have a text code that you could go ahead and text. So you could text our text RFM jobs to 25,000 um, for, um, for an, a chance to go ahead and be able to schedule um, a conversation with the recruiter. And then um, lastly, you could go ahead and email your resume or you know, any questions you might have to my email indicated in this slide. Any questions? Dante wants to know if military ex um, experience counts for the years of experience required. Definitely. So we um, are actually one of the things that we're working on right now is an increased um, initiative over with military recruitment. So the military experience does count as part of the years of experience. Great. Are there any other questions for Reyes Fleet Management? Okay. Uh, well, I see that uh, Abigail. I'm sorry, Zach. Dante has one more question for Therese. Go ahead, Dante. Type it out, please, and I'll ask it. Oh, he wants to know what the list of tools required would be. Thank you. 
Yes, yeah, so I could go ahead and send that over to you. It is a sheet of um, a checklist. Um, what I would say is that even when you go in as a trainee, um, we actually do have a tool, um, a tool program wherein um, you could go ahead and buy your set of tools that are required for this position. Um, but there, we don't expect everyone to have their um, all of the all of the set of tools that are um, required for this position because it's, it's, it, it is a work in progress and even our current technicians would say so as well. Um, but I could go ahead and provide you the basic tools required for this position. Are tools reimbursable or th they pay that yes. out of Okay. Yes, it is. Yep. Good to know. Thank you. Great. Great. These Any other questions? Okay, I don't see any more questions. Um, if you do have questions, feel free to pop them in the Q&A box at the bottom of your, uh, of your screen there. Uh, I saw in the chat that there were some people who were really looking forward to hearing from Motivate. Um, and I see that we have Abigail Clifford here. So Margarita, if we could go back to the Motivate slide. Uh, okay. And Abigail, if you want to go ahead and uh, present All right, great. Great. Um, hi, can everyone hear me? My name's um, Abby Clifford and I work with Motivate LLC. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do today is just kind of run through what our operations are um, and what we're hiring for right now, actually. Um, and then what I will do, um, since I don't have it in the slides, um, is I will send in the chat uh, the link to our job page um, and um, uh, my email address, so you can reach out to me directly if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, so Motivate LLC, what we do is we are a bike share operations company. Um, so we operate uh, bike share for Bay Wheels, which is in San Francisco, the East Bay in San Jose. Um, and the way that we operate our bike share system um, is we have a team of drivers uh, that go around and move bikes from the different locations to make sure that our system is balanced and usable. Um, we really focus on um, where our customers need bikes and where they take them from to make sure that we are sufficiently uh, rebalancing our bikes in those areas. Um, beyond that, we also do all of the bike maintenance and bike repair um, for all of the bikes in our system. So right now we have about 10,000 bikes actually within our system. Um, so that's like quite a few to be able to like maintain and make sure that they are safe and rideable for all of our customers. Um, and that's the department also that I want to talk about today the most because that is where we are doing the majority of our hiring. Um, so what we are looking for um, in terms of a bike mechanic um, is the first thing is we want all of our employees to be reliable and dependable um, and um, excited in learning a new skill. Um, I know that being a bike mechanic is not a, um, I said there's not a huge pool of people who are bike mechanics, um, but what's really cool about being a bike mechanic with us is that we will teach and train you on um, all of these skills. So we don't require you to come in and be an expert at being a bike mechanic. Um, we'll train you on that. Uh, what we do require is that you have a great attitude, that you're reliable and dependable, um, and that you have some familiarity with tools so that we can, um, just as a baseline, um, so that we can train you from there. Um, all of our roles uh, will be part-time opportunities. Um, so if you have another job or if you have a flexible schedule, um, we're able to uh, kind of work with you on that um, to get you into and onto our team. Um, all of our roles start at $18 an hour um, and they are based out of our San Francisco warehouse, which is located at 1225 Minnesota Street. Um, our application and interview process um, so like I said, I will send over the, um, the link to our job site so you can look at um, 
the bike mechanic role and kind of like all of the job duties and requirements associated. Um, but what we do is we have all of our candidates apply. Um, and then from there, uh, we reach out and do an initial uh, phone call um, just to kind of get a better understanding of your background, what you've done, what you're interested in, things like that. Um, if that goes well, then um, we do bring people on site uh, to do a final interview. Um, and this will consist of meeting with one of our managers and going through a short technical assessment um, where we just uh, basically test to make sure um, that you have some familiarity with tools. Um, and then from there, uh, we make final decisions and our turnaround time is pretty quick. Uh, from day of interview to start time is usually around a week. Um, so once we make final decisions, we really try and get people in the door uh, within a week's time. Um, yeah, and so we're, we're actually looking to staff up our team. We're actually looking about add about 100 mechanics to our team. Um, so we have plenty of opportunities. Um, if you're interested in future growth as well, uh, because our team is growing so quickly, there will be a lot of like leadership and development opportunities um, for anyone who uh, starts to join the team now. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, we're really looking to staff up. So um, if anyone has any questions, I will put also my email along with the, um, with the career site in the chat. Um, so if you have anything specific, um, you can, don't hesitate to reach out and send me an email. Um, I do see, uh, so we provide tools. Uh, we don't ask people to like bring any of their own tools. Uh, you'll be provided with that at work. Um, we provide like a uniform and tools. Um, and the last thing, sorry, that I did not mention is that we are a unionized, um, uh, a unionized staff. So all of, all of the bike mechanics or drivers, if we bring you on, you'll be part of um, the TWU union. Great, are there any other questions for Motivate? Okay, great, thank you, Abigail. Thank you so much. So let's go ahead and move on to Smith. Uh, so go ahead and move those slides forward past all the Reyes uh, companies and uh, onto Smith. Great, uh, we'll let Smith take it away. All right, thank you. Well, hello everybody. Uh, first off, thank you CCF, CCSF for the opportunity. Um, and uh, it's the first time we're doing this virtual career fair. So we may have a little bit, uh, you know, a lot more slides than, than other companies. So Margarita, I'll probably ask you to, you know, skip a few and focus on some key ones. But, you know, first off, uh, Smith. Smith is, uh, we're independent distributor of electronic components. We're a global company, a $1.7 billion company with 16 uh, global offices. Um, Margarita, if you could skip to the, our fourth slide over there, kind of want to show, um, you know, who we work with. So uh, next one, yeah, there we go. So that's our global customer network. So when I say, you know, we're a global distributor of electronic components, what does that mean? You know, we're, Smith is a, we're the middleman between the companies that are making semiconductors. Those are components that go inside any of in any of these industries or applications so we're, we're talking about consumer electronics cloud computing uh you know transportation medical devices aerospace and defense industrial all of these are our industries that we have customers in so pretty much any electronic device you can think of has a, a green pcb board um, in it and that board is full of components and semiconductors so that's what we sell that's what we distribute on a on a global scale um, if you can uh, move along um, to uh, the next one, please, or actually, uh, yeah, that's, I guess the formatting there didn't come out perfectly, but that's, you know, the types of components that we sell, you know, we're talking about microcontrollers, memory, ICs, capacitors, resistors. Um, we don't require any, any prior knowledge, uh, you know, uh, for, of electronic components for our sales 
positions. That's what we're primarily recruiting for. Um, and we do have a, a pretty intensive training, you know, prior to going to sales. So um, that's just kind of to illustrate a little bit of the types of products that we sell. Um, if you can move to two more, please, Margarita. Uh, one more. Uh, that's just uh, this slide is just illustrating our global footprint. Like I mentioned, we have 16 global offices uh, with three um, three the ones in red uh, illustrate where our shipping hubs and logistics are. That's where we bring in the product, we test them. Uh, we have engineers, we have our logistics team and, and full operation staff. Um, and as you can see, our Silicon office, uh, Silicon Valley office is in, we're actually in San Jose, we're in the South Bay. A lot of the hardware um, tech companies are down here. So that's, that's what we're primarily recruiting for. But, you know, at the end, there will be an email address. And if you're interested in, you know, any other worldwide locations, all the openings are, are posted on our website. Um, all right, if you can move to the next one, please. Uh, you know, a few of the top reasons to to work for Smith. You know, we're we're a privately owned company, um, as I mentioned, with we pretty significant revenue, uh, but we only you only have about 600 employees worldwide, so it feels like a family. You know, uh, it, Smith works very hard in 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 bringing everyone together worldwide and creating you know global events, and uh, it's a casual environment. Um, as I know some people ask a little bit about benefits. So, you know, we provide medical, dental, dental vision, 401k, uh, pay time off. Um, it's a casual dress code because for the most part, um, you know, our sales people, it's inside sales. It's pretty casual unless we have a customer visit. And we have other benefits as well, if you guys have any questions. Um, so if you can move to the next one, please. Um, that. It, you know, this one talks a little bit about our training um, process. We have what's called uh, a platform that was built in house called Smith University. That's, uh, that's you know, we have several developers help us just bring in a, a training platform for, for our salespeople worldwide to have a standardized training. So it, you have access at it any time. So your first, you know, two to three weeks, you would be spending a lot of time on that Smith University learning about our sales cycle, our sales process, our sales strategies, as well as uh, the electronic components, as I mentioned, you know, broke, breaking down between the different commodities and the different product types. Um, next one, please. Oh, this one, as I mentioned, you know, uh, I'm the general manager um, for our California office. Um, so we are, we have a, you know, a remote sales office in San Jose, as I mentioned, we're looking for, for full-time sales positions. And we also have sales internships every summer. We are full for, for this summer, 2020, we already recruited for that. But um, like I said, we have it every summer and, and we're hiring full-time for sales. Um, so next one, please. Um, in terms of our sales team, you know, we're looking for people, you know, a lot of people who are still in school, they, or they may not know what they want to do, but, you know, people with interest in business and marketing, you know, self-motivated individuals, um, driven, you know, personable, that's what we're looking for. You know, like I mentioned, not necessarily the technical knowledge, but people who are good carrying conversations and building relationships. You know, Smith is all about relationship development and customer development. So those are the main traits that we're looking for. Um, our structure is a uh, base salary plus commission. Um, the commission is pretty much the same for, for every salesperson worldwide. It's like 10% of the profit you generate. Uh, the base will vary um, depending on the location um, you're working uh, at. Um, next one, please. Yeah, so that's our, our email address there. Um, our website is smithweb.com. So if you haven't, you know, like if you wanna look more into it and the details or, or the other openings that we, we have in other locations, they will be there. But, f you know, for our San Jose office, it's, it's primarily uh, full-time sales. That's what we're looking for. Anybody has any questions? Is the training paid, Luis? Um, I'm sorry, say that again? Is the training paid? Um, well, so as you're like, uh, you already be hired when you have the training. So yes, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you mentioned also that the um, you're hiring for sales and that it involves um, extensive training. So um, I'm assuming the, that's immediate hire. And so would you just be providing the training virtually on like Zoom? And yeah, uh, usually, you know, we bring them to the office and, you know, we train, there's a training, you know, with the the, man, the senior folks and the manager and, and through our platform because we're working remotely. Um, I know a lot of companies are either doing a hiring freeze or, or you know, kind of putting the brakes and everything. We are still hiring. Of course, we just, you know, um, slow down, uh, slow down things a bit. But yes, we would do the training virtually. Um, the Smith U, uh, Smith University platform, um, you can have access uh, to it from home. So they will be able to train while still, you know, working from home. Remotely. How long approximately is the training for that? Uh, that you know, that depends. Uh, like usually two to three weeks um, until you you you've kind of been through most of the initial training, then um, there will be some kind of exercises done, you know, with me and other managers. Uh, after that, there'll be probably more training. So we can go um, over that amount, but usually there's some, you know, I guess exercises in between to make sure um, the new hires will be like retaining the information that's being provided on the training. Um, so it's just not too much information and a little bit more practical, if that Thanks. makes sense. Oh, thanks, Luis. Rahel has a question. It's, is there on-the-job training for this position or do you need to have a background in sales? No. So, I mean, uh, obviously, if you have some background in, in sales, in marketing or recruiting or whatever it is that it's not related to, to relationship building or even customer service, that's a plus. But no, we don't require any, any you know, previous experience. Um, those are just preferred. It's more about, I would say, the, you know, the soft skills and the, and the drive of the individual. Um, and then just one more thing that I forgot to mention um, that I know some another student asked earlier. We also do sponsor for H1B for work visas as well for international students. Thank you. That's super helpful. Um, this is Jonathan Berg, business employment and training specialist. And I just wanted to encourage folks, um, if you're marketing or in other business things, sales can be such a entry point to any of those roles because often there are not a lot of entry level marketing roles because they're the sales process and how you cultivate relationships and understand, you know, a consumer's needs can often be translated to business to business or B to C roles. So I really encourage people that are looking at marketing or other things within business to consider sales roles because they can be a great launching point to go to any of the other roles that I help to um, students with. Just yeah, thanks for sharing that, Jonathan. That's exactly right. You know, when you're school, you're, you know, like sometimes you're not sure, you know, my background is business and economics, uh, but, you know, sales is directly tied to, to any of those. So if, if you're considering, definitely reach out to us and we can, can dive in a little bit more on the details. And uh, another quick question. Once the, they've completed the training, um, would they be um, providing, um, I mean, would they be contacting companies or, um, um, part, um, or individuals via phone? That's like, yeah. kind of yes, that? that's, that's a great question. Um, it, it's a B, B2B distribution model. So it's all companies, right? So we're selling components that are, it's going to the company that makes your smartphone or your laptop or your TV. So it's all B2B. And yes, it's a lot of prospecting and cold calling. But um, the main thing that I, you know, I, I say it's, it's, it's a plus is, you know, we're calling companies um, that are building devices with the components we sell. So we're reaching out to people who actually buy what we sell, right? You're not really trying to you know, convince a, a consumer to buy your product. It's more about the buyer you know, at that company who is already buying what we sell to trust our company. And that's why um, it's, it's, it's good to highlight, you know, we've been around for 36 years, our global exposure um, and our quality, quality, uh, quality uh, labs over, uh, worldwide. So those are some key terms that you know, our new sales generally pitch to, to new prospects. And I'm assuming that um, when they're working from home, you will be providing the equipment necessary, like a laptop or a phone for the student or the mm -hmm. your employee? Yeah, yeah. We, you know, our, our sales team here um, has, has all of that remotely. You know, it's, it's been obviously a little bit more challenging right now to get people on the phone, but we have a very good internal like marketing team and intelligence team that is helping us stay proactive with our, you know, current customers and, and, and uh, prospects. So we're figuring out also ways to, you know, send some cold emails but they're they're tailored to that person that individual so yes we have all that um, for new sales as well new hires 
And Luis, two more questions I see. One, Rahel wants to know if the sales position is business development representative or sales development representative. And then the other question is, do you recommend computer science students to marketing roles? Okay. Um, yeah. So I think if I'm not, uh, just in terms of the roles we have posted for California, if I'm not mistaken, we have sales development rep and international account rep. Um, that's the our role. The sales development rep is is more for someone with no prior experience. So more of like a very entry level sales. And then eventually, you know, with, with probably 12 to 18 months, that SDR would become an international account rep to where he's more doing more account management than, than that, you know, that prospecting you know, process. Um, and what was the second question? Do you recommend, oh, I think you did. You, the other question was, the, should computer science students um, go to marketing roles? But you said it's open um, in entry level. So it sounds like you got that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, like for other departments, our global headquarters is actually in Houston, Texas. So if they're, you know, if they're students, you know, willing and, and wanting to relocate, we also have, all, you know, other departments like marketing and, and you know, IT, computer science roles as well. Um, I personally don't know how much we're hiring for those um, departments, but you can, you know, you can definitely more than welcome to send an email um, and also browse through our website for the openings. And also if any, uh, if any attendees out there are, um, you know, have been like, I'm interested in sales, but the whole BDR, SDR, AE, account executive landscape is unfamiliar to you, please reach out to me because I'm very familiar with those structures and how people move through that in a linear or nonlinear fashion. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And, you know, thank you everyone again. And thank you CCSF. It was, you know, I know it's an experimental, uh, you know, phase for us, but this, this has been great. Yes, thank you, Louise. Um, I know that there were several questions. Uh, if your question was not answered and we missed it somehow, feel free to pop it in there again, but it looks like we've addressed anything. Um, uh, I see Emily Stowe, also from Smith & Associates here today, uh, has been answering some of those questions as well in chat format. Um, so you can check those answers out if those are of interest to you. Um, yes, correct. Just, just to like wrap it up, Emily, um, she's our corporate recruiter based uh, uh, out of Houston, Texas. So she definitely helps out our team here in California. And as I mentioned, for, for other roles uh, worldwide. So definitely reach out to, to her as well. Thank you. Great, thank you. Uh, and so for those students who have just joined, I know there were some questions about um, employers who have already presented. We are a little ahead of schedule just because some employers were not able to be here today. Um, so if, we, if you have just joined and you missed a particular employer that you're interested in, just know that, uh, well, one, we are recording this, so you'll be able to see their presentation when we post the recording. And we'll also be sending out all of the slides and the contact information for all of the uh, employers that were here today. So know that you'll be able to get in touch with them after this, even if you missed the live presentation. Uh, so now we'll move on to Tenderloin Housing Clinic. Okay, hi everyone. Um, my name is Helena. I just want to start off by saying I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe during this um, stressful time. Um, so I am Helena. I'm a recruiter with Tenderloin Housing Clinic. So we are a nonprofit that provides housing to formerly homeless individuals. Um, so right now we have 23 buildings. Most of them are in the Tenderloin. Uh, some of them are in the Mission, and then some of them are in the Soma area as well, but they're all in San Francisco, um, and they're all pretty close to a BART station as well. Um, so they are SRL housing, so they're single room occupancy, um, which means that um, the individual gets their own room, but it's usually kind of a shared bathroom situation. And our buildings house anywhere from 50 to 250 uh, people. So some of our buildings are very large. Um, so right now we're hiring for various positions um, within various departments at our organization. Um, so it is supportive housing. So we do have support services on site as well. Um, so in most of our buildings, we have case managers who are able to um, help get our tenants connected to resources um, within the community and help them keep their housing as well. 
Um, so right now we are hiring for case managers. So those would be full-time positions and those pay about $21 per hour. And so all of our full-time positions come with benefits as well, which we'll talk to you guys more about in a little bit. Um, so in our property management department, we're hiring for a couple positions right now. So uh, almost every one of our hotel sites um, in our buildings, we have desk clerks there and they're there 24 seven. So we have swing shifts and grave shifts and day shifts available. Um, so for our desk clerks, it's pretty much a customer service role. Um, so you'd be monitoring the cameras and checking in visitors and things like that. Um, so we have full-time positions and on-call positions available for that role. And then we're also hiring right now for janitors. Um, so we're looking for people with some sort of janitorial experience. Um, and we're hiring right now for full-time and on-call for that. Um, so our desk clerks and janitors, they get paid $16.50 per hour. Um, and then we're also hiring for maintenance workers right now. So for this role, we're looking for people with some sort of carpentry, plumbing, or electrical work experience. Um, and we're hiring for full-time and on-call for this as well. And the pay is $20.75 per hour. Um, and then, so we also have a couple admin positions within our different departments. Um, so admins get paid $19.69 per hour. Um, and they kind of help out with behind the scenes um, in our various departments. So we're also hiring right now for a recruiter as well. So if you'd like to join our team, um, let us know. So this would be a full-time position. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to direct things over to my colleague, Danielle, and she is going to talk to you guys more about benefits and how to apply. Danielle? Danielle, you're here, but you're currently muted. Oh. Wait, you're muted, Danielle. Go ahead. Hi, are you able to hear me? Yep. Oh, hi, everyone. So sorry about that. Um, sorry that I can't join via video, but either way, I'm happy to be here with you all today and thankful for the opportunity. Um, so as Helena mentioned, I can speak a little bit um, to the benefits that we offer at Tenderloin Housing Clinic. Um, I realize that, you know, um, our pay rate might not be super competitive in terms of, um, you know, comparison with the private sector, um, but we do try and you know, kind of make up for that a little bit with the benefits that we offer, um, as well as opportunity for growth. Um, so on the benefit side, um, we offer a comprehensive package of medical, dental, and vision. Um, there would be, you know, a very low biweekly premium, um, even zero dollars um, for a lot of employees um, to access these benefits. As long as you are a full-time employee, you will be eligible. Um, as well as medical and dental and vision, we also offer some additional things like um, um, life insurance, employee assistance program, um, long-term disability, um, accident and critical illness insurance, um, as well as commuter benefits. Um, as Helena mentioned, all of our sites are very accessible um, via BART and Muni. Um, so that could be a great option. We also offer um, bicycling benefit if you are bicycling to work. Um, we offer re a retirement plan, um, 403B, um, that's kind of the nonprofit answer to 401k, um, as well as a work boot assistance program um, for our janitorial and maintenance staff, um, if that's something that you would need help accessing. And um, most of our non-management positions are unionized. Um, so you would be represented by SEIU Local 1021, um, and they would advocate on your behalf as well. Um, so 
in, in addition to those, we also try and support um, our employees um, with kind of generous time off um, for sickness, and that would include um, mental health days, so to speak, as well as vacation time. Um, you would also be able to apply for funds to help you with your education. Um, In-house, we do offer lots of training and development opportunities within the company um, as far as training from um, external um, parties on things like Excel or um, different um, techniques for outreaching clients, um, lots of things we offer, and there's just lots of opportunities to grow. Um, I think, you know, our, our agency is a great place to start your career in the nonprofit space, um, regardless of kind of what direction or department you might want to go in, whether it's continuing with THC um, or eventually, you know, moving on to another agency. Um, we really love providing that space um, for our employees to really grow um, and learn, um, and we love helping to train you and really just um, helping you you know, get off the ground in the nonprofit space. Um, so, um, you know, our organization has a rich history. Um, we do have a lot of heart. Um, so we'd love to chat with you further um, if that's something you're interested in. So I can go ahead and drop the link um, in the chat um, for our careers page if you're interested in reading more into what we have open um, as well as applying. And I can leave my email address um, and Helena's as well um, if you want to contact us directly. But to apply, basically, you'll just need your resume um, and a cover letter. Um, and sending that to us will pretty much kick off the process um, and can be in communication from you at that point. Thank you. We do have a couple questions. Robert wants to know if you need community health care workers right now. Um, so we are recruiting for clinical case managers. So it's a little bit different than healthcare workers. Um, but yeah, we are recruiting for clinical case managers too. So for that position, we're looking for um, more of someone with um, a master's degree in counseling or something like that. But we don't have any roles for healthcare workers, unfortunately. Thank you. We have another question. Do you need to have a background in recruiting or do you provide on the job training? So ideally, we would like to hire someone with recruitment experience, but we do provide a lot of on site training. So if you are interested in learning more and just interested in working for a nonprofit, um, I definitely recommend applying and then we can go from there. Elena, you mentioned you had some on call positions. I think for the, the cust maybe custodial or uh, maintenance. Well, uh, do you know what the like time frame those are? Is that like graveyard swing? Just to give um, some people the option to like work after hours or ca after caring for their kids <laughs> during the day. Yeah. So for desk clerks, um, so we do have on-call positions for swing and grave. So desk clerks is the only position where we have um, swing and grave available. Uh, for janitors, it's only day positions, but sometimes we can be a little bit flexible with the hours. We have some people coming in pretty early and then leaving earlier and some people coming in later. Um, later as in 12 o'clock in the afternoon and leaving at six o'clock um, in the evening. And then maintenance workers, uh, maintenance workers are Monday through Friday day positions. Um, but for on calls, we can be flexible as well. Um, I know some people we have who are on call only work during the weekends, so we can make that work as well. Provide the same benefits to your on-call folks as you do your regular staff? No. So unfortunately, um, we don't have benefits available for on-calls, only full-time. Got it. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Well, I'm not seeing any other questions. So thank you, Helena, and also Danielle for joining us. Uh, and I think Danielle has posted in the chat box some uh, additional information, including a link to uh, the openings that they have right now. So go ahead and take a look there. Um, oh, I, I do see another question. Uh, somebody is asking if the recruiting position is full time. Yes, the recruiting position is full time. Um, it would be Monday through Friday during the day. And it comes with benefits as well. Okay, great. Uh, any other questions for uh, Tenderloin Housing Clinic? Oh. Uh, someone would like your email addresses. Yes. I think Danielle just included it. Yeah, perfect. 
Yes, thank you, Danielle. So she just put those in the uh, chat box for whoever was asking or whoever would like to follow up. Okay, great, thank you. All right, great, thank you both so much. Okay, so uh, Tenderloin Housing Clinic was the last of our uh, employers. I don't, I, it doesn't look to me like any of the ones that uh, we skipped over earlier have come back. So um, I, I believe that's gonna be it unless anyone wants to jump in and, and announce that they're here that I, I may have missed. Okay, uh, Margarita, will you go to the next slide for me, please? So I wanna thank everybody for coming, uh, especially our students. I know you all are juggling school and work and whatever else life has for you. Uh, so I really wanna thank you all for taking the time to be here. I wanna thank all of our employers, um, Alto Pharmacy, Avalon Bay, CVS, Homebridge, Motivate LLC, Reyes Coca-Cola and Reyes Fleet Management, Smith & Associates, and the Tenderloin Housing Clinic. Uh, thank you all for being here. I know uh, this is a busy and kind of hectic time for everybody. So I really appreciate uh, all the information that you shared and um, the opportunities that you have for our students. Uh, uh, both employers and students will be receiving kind of a follow up um, with just a quick survey uh, to get information from you all about what you liked or what you didn't like, what we could do better, what other services you would like us to provide uh, remotely during this strange time that we're in. Um, so please just take a couple seconds to fill that out when you do get it. Um, and to students, we'll also again be sending out the recording of this, uh, a link to the recording of this event. Um, the info from all of the employers, including their contact info and the slides that they presented here today. Um, and uh, please keep an eye out for uh, some of the other events that the employment specialist shared earlier today. Uh, and here you can see uh, our social media uh, links and uh, on all the various platforms. Feel free to follow us on those if you're, uh, you know, if you want to stay up to date with what we have going on. We are going to be pushing a lot of our events uh, over Zoom and other online platforms, so please feel free to take advantage of that. Um, and then feel free to also post your job, uh, or excuse me, uh, look for jobs uh, or post your own resume at College Central, uh, where we uh, connect with employers and have them post job openings that you can then apply for. Um, so uh, thank you all again. Uh, CCSF staff, employers, and students for attending, uh, and I look forward to seeing you all at some of our future events. Thank you.